All right, let's talk wheelchairs. My name is Luke, I'm 30. I'm a C6-7 incomplete, uh, quadriplegic. Let's see, yeah, floppy hands, some movement, not too much grip. I can, I can't feel my triceps, but I have full function, so thank God for that. This is my daily driver, the one I like to keep in my car. I disassemble it, get it in the car with me, take it out of the car and reassemble it, and go on about whatever I'm doing. This was the first day I actually got it. The ATP is here, um, making some adjustments to it, and it doesn't look like that anymore. Starting from the top down, the push handles are different now, the backrest is different now, the wheels are different now, push rims, and I don't run the wheelie bars anymore. And there's a whole bunch of adjustments that I've made, but you, that's what you do. You know, you make adjustments and fit it to what's best for you. So here's a closer look at the push handles that were on it. And also the way the backrest mounts to the chair. The bracket didn't change, but I had to get longer screws to move it down. It was sketchy at first because I didn't know if it would hold up against a bigger bar, but it does, so that's good. Here's a shot of the smart drive. Initially, I tried the dial that mounted to the side of your wheelchair on the tube or frame, and it had a wire that ran to the back of the chair. Um where it connects on the smart drive is actually magnetic and that connector is magnetic there's a little L bracket on the back of the chair that it's supposed to stay stuck to although with me getting it in and out of the car and um, throwing it around that bracket just kept on getting bent and the wire kept on getting caught and I was just banging up the dial I actually liked the dial Although I couldn't have it on there because I would have ripped that wire off and um, when I don't have the smart drive on the wire doesn't hang on that bracket and it was just a pain. Here's a view of the smart drive dial wire on the bracket on the back of the chair and you can see the wire sheathing is already pulled back from you know dragging it around and pulling on there uh, and then take a look at the wheelie bars I like the flip up wheelie bars although they don't stay in that position so I'd like to keep them on the chair and just keep them folded up that way although I haven't gotten around to that yet now I just don't run with them it would be nice to just keep them flipped up and if I do need it for whatever reason they're there Here's another view of that connector uh, magnetized onto that little L-shaped bracket and the wire, kind of how it's run. Like I said, I, I liked it, but it just was not going to work. It did not work. In this photo, you can see that the side guards fell off of the chair. Turns out that bracket was just loose. Um, I'll try to put a picture of that bracket in here. This bracket that holds the side guard actually has a stud in it that goes through the frame of the chair. There's a hole drilled through the frame of the chair and the way it's set up the bracket actually sandwiches the side guard so that it won't come off. Um, and obviously I'm, uh, well maybe not obviously, but I'm a quad so it's a pain in the ass to pick those things up sometimes but as you go you kind of figure out how to do things like like anything I guess it would be better if um, it had some holes in it or maybe you can figure out a way to put some zip ties on it to where you can pick it up better hook your finger in there or something they do make side guards with holes in them for that specific reason 
in this photo you can see me getting it in the car the wheels are off and um, I'm pulling it over me and uh, in the next photo you'll see the bracket where you can adjust the um, height of your wheels is running into my chest it's sticking out too long um, or you can adjust the height of the axle which changes the, the height at which the back of the chair will be I actually had those cut off um, you know it's just aluminum and you're not really gonna change it up unless someone else uses the chair so here's a picture of that you know you just cut off like a inch and a half maybe and maybe it was two inches I'm not sure but that's that problem solved now here are some screws and um, a little sleeve that actually locks the backrest in the up position they just came loose and the threads got um, wallowed out I feel like most of these chairs um, when they come in to whoever's putting them together they should put a hand on every single screw and make sure they're tight but even then they're gonna come loose because as you're wheeling around vibrations are just gonna loosen things up um, I think you should probably put Loctite on every single screw, but uh, nobody really does that, I don't think. And it all depends on who is working on your chair. Um, you know, it uh, it sucks all around. I was really mad at, uh, you know, the wheelchair companies for a good while because everything just kept on falling apart. And it uh it just takes some time because you just got to take responsibility for it and find someone that can work on it for you and um, figure out what actually works for you because they're not going to know uh it's it's going to suck in the first time you try to do this here's a look at the side of my wheelchair you'll see that brace that goes up to my leg or knee that helps me a lot because my legs are like spread eagle Mm, you can see that uh, dial for the smart drive isn't there anymore. Now I have a smart watch, but I try not to use the smart drive um, in case I really need it, like a long distance or something, going to the park with friends or whatever. This is the wheel. The push rim has changed since the first picture. This one, I really like this one because that whatever coating is on there, it's really tough, durable. Um, I've had another one that's really slippery in the rain and it's more shiny. This one works really good for me. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Here is the bracket for the backrest. And um, that's been changed around. Alright, so I'll show you another view of this one. And I'll give you kind of like a summary at the end of what the chair looks like now. Um... I've had to get different screws for that thing. I'll show you. The axles I've had problems with as well. You can see how there's washers in there. And there's like a thick washer slash spacer with a set screw that always comes loose. It's supposed to hold the axle in place when you're, you know, just it's just supposed to hold it in place. Um, every time I'm transferring and moving in and out of the car, I'm throwing the wheel around. It's always getting pushed out as you see right there it's more yeah that's more of an exaggerated what it does so I wanted to get rid of those washers and try to simplify it I ended up getting a different axle that was shorter from one of my wheelie brothers that I met on the Facebook group and uh, it worked out pretty good I think that's what it looks like now that metal sleeve is on the wheelchair axle tube and um, I think you can get different lengths of those. That's what actually holds your axle in place. Um, your axle is kind of like the same, same mechanism as a ratchet where you push a button, in this case you flip a lever, and there's like a spring and a ball, a spring in the axle and a ball at the end of the axle 
that locks it in place. Here's a different view of that thing unscrewed out of the axle. I think that other silver flange or that big nut, whatever you want to call it, is the camber setting. You can get different ones of those and it will adjust the angle that the axle goes in and that'll adjust your camber. This is that threaded sleeve on the axle itself. Um, you can see that, well maybe you can't, in this other picture here, you can see that the washers are missing from the back and uh, that's a picture with a different axle. You can see we used that threaded tube to line everything up and make sure that the axle was going to lock in at the end of that tube. If you notice that silver dot on the end of the axle, that's the ball or ball bearing that I was talking about earlier. When you um, flip the lever to lock the axle in place, it pushes out a bar inside the axle that pushes the ball out in order to keep the axle in place. That's why that ball is at the end of that threaded sleeve and um, that's what holds the axle there. So here's another screw that came loose. You see that bracket up top there that's missing a screw? That's actually the thing that locks the backrest in place when it folds down. Um, I just gotta get another screw for that and get someone to put it back in. It's actually still like that right now. This is the other side of the wheelchair. That little screw with a washer on it is the one that's missing on the other side. And you don't see that uh, silver freaking C-shaped bracket thing because it's behind that. It's connected back all in that stuff there. This is the bracket that mounts the backrest to the chair. Uh, I'll try to put some before and after side by side up here so you guys can see it. But we moved the bracket down to the fatter tube. And you can see there's a big gap in between there. Uh, we have to get longer screws. Home Depot Specialty Hardware had it and uh, it works fine. I was kind of skeptical that it would come out of place, but it's still holding up. I don't like how the push bars stick up like that. I would like to try to get them bent inward so that when my arms come back when I'm pushing or exercising, my elbow doesn't contact that. I would take them off, but sometimes it's nice to have them there in case I need to push. Um, that's just a side view, and here's a little bonus. I used to take my chair apart and throw it in the back seat, but that's kind of tough on the shoulder. Um, since then, I have met uh, another wheelie brother, and I've seen how he does it and throws it in the passenger seat. Now my frame sits in the passenger seat, and the wheels and cushion get thrown in the back. I'm not sure how this is going to come across on like a computer or something, but here's a comparison the top picture is the day I got that chair and the bottom picture is what it is right now the backrest has changed the push handles have changed to the flip down ones that helps me get in the car better um, on the top picture I actually like that backrest because it curves around me more although it doesn't do great when I have to fold the chair down in order to get it in the car so um, the J3 is what I roll with currently. I think the wheels have changed. Right now I have spinner G's. The push rims have changed. Um, and there's just been a bunch of little tweaks here and there. The backrest has been dropped down and uh, adjusted to my liking. I would like to move the back wheels a little further up so I can uh, get a better tipping point but I don't want to chance that because sometimes I go up some pretty big inclines and I can't drop down on my legs like some people can I have some impingements in my hip so yeah that's the journey to or through the wheelchair so far
and uh, we're just gonna keep it going. I'm sure there's gonna be problems in the future and we're just gonna have to adapt and overcome. If you wouldn't mind, please let me know what you think about this video and uh, any suggestions or criticisms are welcome. Criticism? You know what I mean. Thank you for watching.